going on, everyone? Today, I'm going to show you a really cool trick that can dramatically help improve how you feel with the kettlebell clean or snatch. It doesn't matter if you're doing more of a hard style or competitive variation, uh, it will help with both. Now, before we even get into this, make sure you are comfortable doing a one-arm kettlebell swing. I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, you can check my previous video on learning the kettlebell swing with two hands. And it's pretty much the same thing, just do it with one hand. Now I do have, as I show you these exercises, uh, I do have a preference for doing a little bit more of offloaded stance and not keeping the feet grounded, uh, just because it feels more natural to do a one-arm swing motion with this staggered type stance. My opposite leg is planted and I'm on the toes on that same side foot. Uh, now, you can be moving around into that to make this even a little, even a little bit more athletic, but again, we're not gonna go into those specifics right now. We're gonna focus into the arc component of the clean and the snatch, because a lot of people have a problem with that. They end up going too far away. No matter what they do, it feels like there's always this impact, and they're always getting hit by the kettlebell here, or even worse, there on that snatch, you know, they start hurting, and you don't want that. You want to be able to actually feel the muscles in the body working and not just get bruised up. You have to make sure you know how it feels at the end of position for, the, for both of these exercises, and that means know your wrist positions. If you are doing the kettlebell clean, the weight is close to the body, tight, the wrist is fairly straight, it's not bent like this. Now if you're catching a kettlebell snatch, it's the same deal with that wrist, overhead, arm in line with the torso, and we're not too far in front of the body either. Now here's a trick that will really help you feel a nice arcing path to the clean and snatch. Now I have a very low band set up here, and all I'm gonna do is a row and really feel the angle of this. I can even have this way lower too, but this rowing motion is what we wanna think about when we pull in the upper body with our clean or snatch. So what a lot of people end up doing when they do their kettlebell clean or snatch is they pull too much upwards or they're going too much away from them and then pulling in. What you want to think about is going a little bit more diagonal pull here. So when I do my swing and then into my clean or snatch, I'm thinking I'm pulling in a diagonal motion with my arms. I'm still getting my hip drive, my legs, my hip muscles are driving the power and I'm just guiding it with this angular pull, just like you're using that band or the cable for this row. The same thing applies with the snatch. It's just going to be a little bit angled higher up here. So I get my swing and then I just pull diagonally upwards. And that way it's a lot smoother of a path. If you have troubles just getting into the position and maybe that helps you quite a little bit, I would practice the clean of the snatches on their own without the swinging motion. So you just have the weight sitting on the floor. It's all just dead stop weight. I get set up from the ground. I come up. You can do the same thing with the snatch. Especially with the snatch, you have to really feel the motion of that kettlebell at the top, how to move your hand around the kettlebell instead of letting the kettlebell move around your hand. But once you get that down and you start doing the swinging, getting that diagonal pull with the upper body is going to get you into that position a lot easier. Alright guys, so that's it. I would recommend setting up a cable or a band low, do a few rows, get the feeling of it, 
and then superset that with your clean or snatch, and then see how it feels. And if you like this tip, if it helps you out, hit the like button. If it doesn't, hit the dislike button and tell me, let me know why. Put it in the comments. I'm always up for a good debate. Until the next video, train hard and train smart.